morning everybody. Here we are, I'm Coach Angie and I have my friend Sophie with me today. And we've got a really fun exercise of animal movements. So we're gonna be learning about native Australian animals and we're gonna be thinking about how they move. So today it's about aiming for coordination, balance, imagination, and this is probably more for the smaller children. So even little babies can join in with this with your assistance, grown-ups, to keep them balanced, to help them sit up if they're only tiny. But it could be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of fun. So let's get into it. Let's think about our animals. Let's become the animals and see what we can come up with together. So we're gonna start by jumping like a kangaroo. I'm actually like a little wallaby. I don't have a pouch. Maybe you can make a pouch. Shall so we start? Let's go. Okay, little kangaroos, it's your turn. How can you be a kangaroo? Kangaroos, that was awesome. So now we're going to be a crocodile. Can you think what a crocodile is like? Crocodiles make all sorts of movements. They don't have to be scary. Well, not us, not us pretend crocodiles. So we're going to put our arms out and we're going to make a big crocodile mouth and we're going to chomp like a crocodile. Take some steps. Have you got your arms nice and straight? Chomp, 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 chomp. Very good. Show me your best crocodile chomping. Hey possums, now we're going to practice crawling like a possum. Now you can be a grey possum, or you can be a red possum, a ringtail possum. We have lots of different possums here in Australia. But one thing they all do is they scuttle or crawl along the ground. Maybe you've seen them. Show me your best possum. Let's go. Keep up on your toes, little possums. Show me the video below. Well, I think I need a little rest after being a possum. So I'm gonna be another nighttime animal. Do you know what we call nighttime animals? Nocturnal. So owls often come out at night and they need to have special eyes. So we're gonna use our face this time to exercise our eyes. And owls will blink, big eyes and then blink. Open and shut and open and shut. Can you do that too? And then maybe you can do one eye at a time. That's a bit tricky, isn't it? Okay, my little owls, show me your beautiful eyes opening and shutting. Your turn. So in Australia, we have lots of native penguins and penguins are animals that swim in the ocean and they live where it's cold and they eat fish but they don't have hands like us they have wings so they don't have feet and legs like us they have just little web feet at the bottom so they can't walk like us do you know how penguins walk they waddle so they put their hands to the side with straight arms and they waddle from side to side can you be a penguin with me? They walk kind of fast. Can you keep up? Very good. How do they turn around? Do you think they jump? Probably. So when they're walking, they're kind of wobbly. Show me your best penguins, little ones. Up and down the room. It's your turn. Okay, 
We're going to take some inspiration from our friend Sloppy here now and slow it down. So I want you to find a nice place to lie on the floor with or without your furry friend. Lie down. And I don't know if you know this about floss, but they move very slowly. And they like to hang upside down. So we're just going to go slow. she's just eaten or when she's walking across the ground anytime really she likes to stretch and she's a strong animal so we can come on to all fours and knees and we're gonna roll up put your chin down towards your chest look at your knees hold your tummy strong Another stretch she likes to do is to be on all fours and then she puts her hands out like that and she puts her bottom in the air. Now I don't have a tail. I'd like to have a tail. I tried to grow one but it just didn't work. But she stretches her tail as well. She comes back like that and stretches her front legs. We can stretch our arms. And then sometimes she'll even stretch this way. Come back again. Hands and knees, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we'll just come arch your back again. Big stretch, put your neck down. Up back. Good cat stretching. Another great animal we have in Australia is called a kookaburra, and that's a bird. And in the morning and in the evening, you can hear them laughing out loud. Now, I can't laugh like a kookaburra because I'm not a kookaburra, but I can laugh. So, how are we going to do that? We're going to take a big breath. And we're going to... How was that? Try again. Think of the funniest thing you can think of. Ready? Let's go. Or do we have to have an evil laugh? Big breath in. And laugh. Have a bit of a yell. Show me your funniest thing. Maybe you've got somebody tickling your toes or tickling your tummy or making a funny face at you. I would love to see what makes you laugh. Give it a go. Tell me how you go. <laughs> so this time boys and girls and moms and dads, we're going to go underwater again. Have you ever seen a stingray? They're really beautiful, graceful, floaty animals. So we can use our arms and our legs and we can glide like we're under the water, nice and slowly. Or if we're sitting down, we can just do it with our arms. 
come in different directions. Up and down. Very good. Into the water. Are there corners under the water? Oh, no. oh. And down. Almost like we're dancing, right? Wouldn't it be great to put some music on and just glide? Like a beautiful stingray. A friendly stingray. Now, it's your turn to be a stingray. So, I'd like you to guess what this animal is, but, no, I'm going to tell you. We're going to be running like an emu. Emus have very long legs, so they kind of walk a bit like this. But they don't really have wings, so we should put our hands behind our backs. So now we're going to exercise our throat and our jaw and take big breaths. And I want you to breathe into your belly. Just a warning, this one's going to get loud because we're going to howl like a dingo. Dingoes are Australian native dogs and they don't bark like other dogs. They talk to each other by howling. And it's really good for us to howl because we're using our lungs, we're using our breath, opening up our jaw. So this might be a good one to do outside in the park, but it's good fun, right? So shall we give it a go? Sloth, are you in? Okay, let's find out how sloths can howl. Ready? One, two, three, howl! How good does that feel? One more, ready? Let's go. Pups, show me how you can howl. Do it loud. Be free. Howl. So here we are again. We're outside. We're near the water. We have a great big long bill. We've got like a little swallowy pouch underneath. We're black and white in colour. We have great big feet. And we can fly. Can you guess what we are? We're being pelicans. So, hold your legs strong, get your arms up and down. Oh, wouldn't you love to be able to fly? And you can. Get those arms nice and strong and even out. Can you feel how strong your arms, and your wings are? Beautiful, keep going. And then we're gonna come into land on some water. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Tuck your wings away. Here we go, safe landing. Show me your best pelicans. So that was great being a pelican. And now we're going under the water to where the sea anemones live. Live under the water and they go open and close. Open and close. Can you do that nice and gently? Very good, like we're underwater. Isn't that lovely? It's almost like we're waving and saying hello. Just like a beautiful sea anemone. Now it's your turn. back in the 
beach everybody and we're going to scuttle like a crab so you can have your hands here but mostly what's important is to be squatting and do crabs walk forwards and backwards and from side to side so let's give it a go ready let's go So it's time to cuddle up now. We're going to be like koalas and we're going to find someone that we love. And we're going to do what koalas do best. And we're going to cuddle. Oh, nice cuddle. And then we can change our arms around. And cuddle. How nice is that? And if you don't have anybody close by to cuddle, that's okay. Because we can cuddle ourselves. Oh, you've done such a great job today working out and playing. Take your arms out and the other way. Oh, good job, everybody. That's great work. Nice cuddling. Give yourselves a cuddle and find somebody else to cuddle. Might be your cat or your dog or your pet koala or your mum or your dad or your baby. But cuddling is good. We should all do more of it. Have you ever seen a gecko? They're little lizards and they move kind of like this. Slowly. Can you do that? Lift up one hand and give it a little wobble but hold the rest of you nice and strong. Kind of slow, but kind of cool. Get our arms moving. We're steady on our body, holding our tummy strong. Sometimes they even bring their arms up. And they make kind of funny faces because geckos don't have lips. Did you know that? So when we're doing this, I know it might look silly, but we're being very strong. If we're keeping our bodies still, it means we've got strong shoulders, arm that's on the ground is strong, your tummy is strong, and you're using your legs as well. Good lizarding, everybody. I want you to have a go and see if you can make up some lizard moves of your own. Go get them, geckos. Our next animal is an echidna. Have you ever seen an echidna? They're kind of spiky and they eat insects. And they're only little and they live close to the ground. But sometimes they like to curl up into a tiny ball. So when they come down, make yourself as small as you can. Scrunch down, squeeze your knees into your chest, you can go onto your knees. Make yourself into a tiny, tiny ball. And then I want you to come up and stretch out. Put those eyebrows up in the air. Reach with your fingertips. And shall we go back to another curly ball again? Let's do it. Ready? Let's go. Tuck your chin right in. Tuck your head right in. Nice tight ball. And then we come back up. stretch. Okay my friends, another Australian native animal is the snake. We have loads of snakes here in Australia so you can choose what colour and what type you are. You could be a green tree snake, you could be a brown snake, red belly black snake, I don't know, maybe you know snakes that I don't know. Anyway, let's pretend to be a snake. Now, the challenge here is that snakes don't have arms or legs. Alright, so we've got to make ourselves 
Don't put our legs together. Maybe our hands up like this. Beautiful. Side to side. Because they kind of slither, don't they? Move along. Nice and smooth. So you can do it standing up. Or maybe you want to lie down on the ground and slither your way across the floor. Or you can use your arms to slither. But think friendly snake. And how do we be a snake? I would love to see what kind of snakes you become. Please send me videos. That would be fantastic. So guys, you are doing so well today. This is so much fun. Now I've got another one that we can do sitting down or standing up. We're using our hands and I want you to get your pointer finger and your thumb and we're going to do spiders. We have lots of spiders here in Australia and some of them are lovely and friendly and some of them are a little hairy and scary. So let's come have a little spider climbing up the water spout or the balm tree or the windowsill. Can we do this? So grown-ups, this is a really brilliant hand-eye coordination skill for little ones and for big ones. Because it's important as we get older as well as we maintain our hand-eye coordination. And it's kind of fun. And we can do this anywhere. Can we go back downwards? Ooh, that's not so easy, is it? So we can do this little exercise when we're in the car, in a shopping trolley, where the little ones like to sit. My chair waiting for some dinner. The bathtub. Man, it is so much easier going up than going down, for me anyway. Maybe it's the other way for you. One more. <laughs> Actually, it helps me to stick my tongue out when I do it. So, over to you guys. Do your best little insy with your spider. Maybe you know a song you can sing along with it. <laughs> wow, everybody. Thanks for joining Slothy and me for the animal movements. Today, we've worked about our imaginations, we thought about how animals move and some animals have four feet where we only have two and some animals don't have feet and some animals live underwater. So we've learnt a bit of balance, we've learnt to be adaptable, we've learnt to move slowly, we've got our muscles working in kind of unusual ways. And that's really important for our balance, our hand-eye coordination, for our breathing and to control our breathing and learn to breathe down in our bellies. And best of all, we got to cuddle with somebody that we love. So I'm really interested to see if you guys have got any videos that you would like to share. And I'd really love to hear how you enjoyed doing this with your little ones. And if your little ones had any ideas or suggestions that came from doing this little program today. So please get in touch down below in the comments. Feel free to send in videos. And remember, we're stronger together in Logan. Check out the other coaches' fabulous videos. And we'll see you next time from Coach Angie and Sloppy.